All this week, we're taking you to the world's northernmost and fastest warming community of Svalbard, Norway. After meeting the people who live there and seeing what scientists are learning there, you will better understand what's happening where we live. This is On The Dot with me, David Schechter. And as you heard from David, we are kicking off a week long series about the impact of warming temperatures here and around the world. Uh, for perspective, winter in Minneapolis is nearly four degrees warmer on average since 1975 and experts say that trend will continue. The Arctic is warming even faster. This evening, David Schechter explains how warming there affects weather everywhere. <laughs> Svalbard is the northernmost community in the world, which makes it home to the northernmost pub, the northernmost brewery. You guys make good beer. <laughs> and the northernmost cafe. New rule, all coffee shops must have huskies. The Arctic is warming three to four times faster than the rest of the world. And that's why we're here. In Svalbard, they have these cold, deep ocean inlets. They're called fjords. Uh, when I was here in early 2000s, the fjord out here froze. It doesn't anymore. Anna Schweblom is a meteorologist at the University Center in Svalbard. Why is it warming so much faster here than other places on the planet? Uh, I think the biggest thing is that we have the ice around here, especially over the ocean. So let's talk about sea ice. Anna is saying when ocean water is covered by ice and snow, most of the sun's rays bounce back into the atmosphere. That shields the water below from the heat of the sun. But in a warmer Arctic, ice and snow are melting. Now the sun can hit open water and heat it up. As the warmth spreads, it helps melt more snow and ice. It's a loop that just keeps going. So if we start this sort of feedback process, it goes really quickly. So if, if it's warmer here at the pole, how does that affect me in Los Angeles or in Miami or something like that? We want it to be cold at the poles and we want it to be warm at the equator. And if you don't have that, you won't have the same type of weather patterns. Most of our weather in the US is dictated by something called the jet stream. Basically, it's fast moving winds that travel horizontally high in the atmosphere. The jet stream is most stable when there's big differences in temperature between cold air and warm air. As the Arctic warms and the temperature difference shrinks, the jet stream can get wobbly and slow down. Emerging research suggests that may lead to slower weather patterns that stick around longer, potentially leading to more persistent cold and hot weather, even dry and wet weather. But if that balance is starting to change, then of course everything else will start to change as well. And we'll get a completely new type of normal, if you put it like that. Uh, and that's probably something the world isn't ready for. And David Schechter joins us now live. David, good to see you. Uh, that was interesting. Who, what hey, other Frank. interesting folks did you meet in Norway? Uh, we met a lot of interesting people, Frank, but uh, one guy really stuck out for me is a scientist named Jack. We went on a helicopter with him to see the melting glaciers. It was an awesome sight, also really humbling to see how quickly they're melting. You're going to hear about that later this week. He's an American who's been working in Svalbard for decades, and what he really helped me understand is that in my own lifetime, Svalbard has warmed almost 14 degrees in winter, faster than anywhere in the world, much faster than Minnesota. Jack likes to say what happens in the Arctic, unlike Las Vegas, doesn't stay in the Arctic. So that's what we'll be talking about this week, how we are affected here by what's happening there so far away, but we're totally connected. Interesting. Yeah, I mean, it looks like we're seeing effects uh, here this winter. It's been unusual. So, well, David, we miss you at WCCO, but we're happy to have you uh, traveling all around the dot for us. So we'll be in touch. My pleasure, Frank. All right. Take care. <laughs>